Hey everyone, this is Tim from Top Hat and Ears, and I want to welcome each and every one of y'all to the latest episode of Top Hat and Ears Food Review. Today we're going to do a little mini mukbang, and I'll review in some food today. The food in question is, if you can read that, let me get that for you, some Buffalo Wild Wings. Boneless chicken. So, before I get into today's video and start reviewing these 20 boneless wings, if you haven't already, please be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you will think of this video once it's over with. Again, this is a one take video, one take, one shot, no editing whatsoever. If you like your content, leave a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine with me. Leave a thumbs down and dislike if you want. Either way, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you and all your friends can be notified of future videos, whether they're food reviews or food challenges or just in general food related from Top Hat and Ears Food. So, I'll show you what I got. Here's a basic non sauce boneless wing from Buffalo Wild Wings. See if you can see a little bit better. The reason why I decided to get it uh, no sauce on it like some people get is the fact that I would prefer to taste the bones by them, sorry, the wings by themselves and go from there. Now honestly, as I've been told, these really aren't wings. These are more like giant chicken nuggets or breast meat while the bone the wings have the bones in them traditional I'm not a huge fan of those to be honest with you I like all the extra bones they also are a little more expensive for me and this was purchased with uh, reward points that I got from Buffalo Wild Wings from eating there a lot so this currently is 2150 points it is $10 per uh, what is it, 100 points? So, so every 10 you get uh, 100 points. So to get 2,150 points, let's figure that out quickly right now while we are at it. At 100, it would be 1,000 points. 200 would be 2,000 points. So about $215, but you can't get a 15. It's go up, so about $220 worth of points. Shows you, I've eaten a lot there. And in the bag, I got on side with it. So I hope you can read this. Jam and jalapeno sauce. Yes, the cup's upside down because they put the uh, sticker upside down. We also have, you can read it, the green one, which is Parmesan garlic. So again, we got the Parmesan garlic and the jam and jalapeno sauce. So I'm gonna try each of those today. Sorry. Put something in my mouth. Alright, I'm pulling out toilet containers. It is yet another Parmesan garlic and a jam and jalapeno. So we've got two Parmesan garlics and two jam and jalapenos. Now according to their website, the jam and jalapeno is limited edition. It'll be there for a short period of time. But I truly feel in my heart that if it goes well enough, they will keep it. Also, we have two of the boats. Now, what is a boat, you might ask? They call it a CC boat. Why CC? Because of what's in there. Carrot and celery. C for carrot. C for celery. Let's pull it out. One of them. And as you can see, carrot and celery. I'll put those on top right there. As you can see. And we got the other one as well. We'll dump right on in. Alright, so it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five things of celery. And one, two, three, four, five, six carrots. So, let's go and talk. Have a good day, you know. Now, 
We're gonna try the wings by themselves. Well, or large breast chicken nuggets, we wanna call it truth. And I'll let you know what I think of them. Not gonna lie, this is white meat, henceforth. As it is white meat, that usually does mean that it's a little drier, but that's okay by me. Does still have flavor. It's nice and meaty. As in, not that there's meat in there, but the side of it, nice and big size. Go ahead and see how these carrots taste. Once I get the uh, wings taken out of my mouth, Basic baby carrot, which really isn't a small carrot, it's just a carrot that's been cut and shaved to look like a small carrot for my big one. They get a bunch of baby carrots, I have one regular big carrot. Then I was doing my other job of uh, Instacart food delivery. It's one of the reason why I decided to do a food review channel. From a local grocery store, supermarket, uh, Manager that from the produce section that's there. The celery. I don't know a lot of people aren't big fans of celery. These people I know, I should say. I do like it. A little dry by itself, but spread a little peanut butter on it. Raisins make the ants on a log. Or it's my sauce, like the Parmesan garlic. And that would go good too, so let's go ahead and try the Parmesan garlic since I had it out. And we're not gonna try the Parmesan garlic by itself. I mean, on the wings, we're gonna try it by itself first, I meant to say. My mistake, one edit, what you gonna do, right? All right, you could definitely taste the hint of, as it's called, Parmesan and garlic. It is a very garlicky, and I mean a very garlic, like a, a kick in the mouth, or a punch in the mouth, you know, kind of garlic. If you're not a fan of garlic, you may not like it. You can taste the hints of Parmesan, the cheese flavors. They do blend well together. Does have a little spicy kind of a uh, kick in the back, but I really believe that that spicy kick I'm tasting has nothing to do with spice like jalapeno or cayenne because this is listed on the mild list. It's more of a natural aromatic spice that comes from a big old mouthful of garlic all at once. And going back, you know, so how would I rate this sauce right here? It is mild. If you don't like things super spicy, I say go ahead and try it. I do like it. I'll give the Parmesan garlic sauce, which is the sauce, I remember correctly, you can get in the three pack, which is uh, Asian Zing, Parmesan garlic, and I'm thinking teriyaki or barbecue. I'm not sure if you know. Leave a comment below and let me know what the other that three pack at the local stores, like a Walmart, is. Uh, that I'd give it about a six. I'm more of a spice person. It does have extra bold flavor, but it's not super spicy at all. So, like I said, it has spice. It does not mean that it's spicy just because it has spice in it. Garlic is a spice. You know? Like a bell pepper is a spice, but it's they're not spicy, like super hot, you know. But I get this definitely. But as a sauce by itself, I'll call it a six.
Now, I'm not going to rate the carrots or the celery because I taste no different than any kind of celery or carrots I got anywhere else. And there's nowhere to compare it to anybody else. I like celery. I like carrots. I get the vote every time. I'm not a big fan of the ranch or the blue cheese. This is how I do it. So let's dip the uh, celery into the Parmesan ranch. All right, the Parmesan ranch definitely elevates the flavor of the celery and does make it worth going after and trying. Try that again. Go. Yeah. I definitely prefer the celery with the Parmesan and garlic. Now I can make that a seven, eight, because the combination works well. It also cuts off a little bit of the garlic spiciness, the garlic, as in the spice, the garlic that's in there. Not heat level, no capsaicin. Oh there, now let's try it with the carrot. All right. Now about the actual carrot itself. Combination of carrot plus that sauce, I'm gonna give a three, four. Only because the carrot outweighs the taste of the sauce and you really do not taste the sauce at all. That being said, if you're somebody who likes to dip their celery in the ranch, this is something that you wanna try as well because it's a definitely a good addition and a good additive and a good change to just dip it in ranch or blue cheese. So, you want to go ahead and try the same thing with this one right here. That's the jam and jalapeno. Again, this is a limited edition flavor. So, we're going to try and see how it is. As you can guess, it's more of a video regarding the sauce themselves and the wings because most of us know what wings taste like, but how they taste with the sauce and everything with the sauce. So, Y'all can see that. And we're gonna try it right now. Same way I did the other. But I'm gonna use a different finger so the mix flavors do not mix. I'm gonna have to dip in for another one because I'm not getting much of a flavor right now, but let me go a little more and see what I can find. Okay, you can definitely taste the jalapeno. It's definitely hitting the back of my throat right now. Up in the uh, upper roof, this is the third hottest. There's mild, medium, hot, and wild. This is under the hot. The more I talk, the more I do feel the jalapeno. And I'm tasting a little bit of a, I'm not sure what it is. If y'all know, please leave a comment below. I'm thinking I'm tasting a fruity kind of a uh, hint behind this too. Almost like a very hot jalapeno-ish uh, sweet and sour sauce or teriyaki sauce is the best way I can call this. So, I like the Asian foods, like the Asian zing if you want to call it that way at Buffalo. But you want it with a nice kick, a nice hit, a nice punch of spice. Or you're a fan of something almost like the sauce on a uh, General Tal General Tso's chicken. Let me get that right. Or like your spicy food over at the Chinese restaurants. I want more of a jalapeno flavor versus a chili pepper flavor. Then by all means, try this one. You might like it. Now, I'm going to do the combo. And see what they taste like. Together. Alright, you can see the Parmesan garlic, jam, and jalapeno. We're going to mix them. Ah, uh, I'm going nuts. We had some of the jalapeno fall off, so we're gonna add some more jalapeno to it. Okay. Definitely a good combination between the two. The Parmesan garlic actually balances in for me and takes away the heat of the jam and jalapeno altogether. 
making it more like a medium sauce. So it kind of, uh, try that again. That kind of more tastes like a, uh, well, I would say a cheesy teriyaki sauce, to be honest with you, kind of crazy combination to say that. But it definitely has a nice uh, Asian flair to it when you combine them together. But I get them together. If I could get them in one bottle, yes, I would. The combination of them together with the sauces, I'd give it a nice seven. It's not something everybody would like, so I can't recommend it to everybody. But if you like a little bit of Asian teriyaki, uh, zing flavor, but not so much heat with a little bit of uh, cheesiness to it, a hint of garlic, combine them together and you'll have a great sauce. Now, we're going to finally get to the wings. And see how they taste in the sauce. Again, try one more time. Get my palate ready. Going in with the Parmesan garlic. It's definitely good, mild, I believe a little overpowering with the garlic flavor of the sauce itself. Uh, what I recommend it to everybody, if you got a light palate, you don't like spice, yes. Uh, the way I get it, so it's smothered on the, uh, what do you call it, on the wings, no, because it's just too much. It's a little overpowering. With the garlic and cheese flavor, hence the name Parmesan garlic. I mean, what was I thinking? I mean, it's called Parmesan garlic. Of course, you're going to have an overabundance of Parmesan and garlic flavor. But when on the wing, you could definitely sit there and taste them all together with no problem. Also, like that when it's not sauce, you can hold part of the bonus wing. Dip what you want. Take a bite and dip again. So your fingers aren't covered in sauce by eating them. I know double, triple dipping, some people don't like, personally. It's just for me. I don't care. If I'm with family, don't care either. I mean, we do it all the time, so it doesn't matter to us. In that Seinfeld episode, you double dip the chip. Well, I double, I triple dipped. The, uh, what do you call it? The wing. So, Parmesan garlic sauce. I'm gonna close up now. On the wings, I would say I would give that about a seven. Seven is usually my average score, you know, on it. Good overall flavor. Definitely a good sauce if you got children and they want to try a sauce for the first time and they haven't tried one and you want some. It's not a traditional mild buffalo sauce. They do have barbecue sauce there too, which I'd recommend for the kids too. You can get ketchup at Buffalo Wild Wings. But overall, for if they want to step up their game a little bit and try a brand new non-traditional sauce, those that aren't big with spice and for your kids who don't like spice a lot, I definitely would go with the Parmesan garlic for them. Henceforth, why I give it a seven uh, when it's paired with the wings because it is good and they do complement each other very well. So... I know this is the one that had the Parmesan garlic in there, so if you leave a comment below about that, I want to stop before you do it. But there is only very little. Hope you can see that. The little white mark is the Parmesan garlic. So I'm going to try it. Clear my palate again. That's another thing about why I want to get the these bones so I can just bite one and cleanse my palate. All right. Here we go. This is again the jam and jalapeno sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. I 
All right. Nice, flavorful. Works very well with the chicken. Got a nice hint in the flavor. Looking at it on the chicken itself and how it's dripping, I actually agree with my original uh, comment about flavor of sauce. I don't know if you can see it, the way it's like glistening on there. If you've ever had orange chicken, or sesame chicken, or your salad chicken, or so chicken, we get it right. The way the sauce looks on those after they've been glazed and been sitting for a while, that's what this reminds me of. Almost like a Szechuan kind of sauce. That's it. That's this flavor right here. A Szechuan sauce. A spicy Szechuan sauce. So, I mean, if McDonald's had their Szechuan sauce, think of that. Add some jalapeno flavor into it, and you got the jam and jalapeno. It tickles the roof of your mouth. The aftertaste comes back to give you a little, hey, remember me kind of flavor. But not, here's the death punch, I'm going to hurt you flavor. Say that for the Blazing Wing Challenge, which in a previous video, I did complete that as well. But yeah, that's where it is. It's a jalapeno flavored Szechuan style sauce. Like you get at McDonald's. But I like it a lot. Definitely, on these, I'm gonna call them what they are big giant nuggets. This does remind me when I was at McDonald's as a kid, putting this on sweet and sour sauce. Or when I get to the Chinese place, and I'll get like sweet and sour chicken. Or orange chicken. This is what this reminds me of. So if that's the case, I could be tasting a citrus, an orange, a plum maybe, vinegar style uh, fruitiness in the sauce. But I couldn't put it together until I literally combined it with the chicken. And once I did that, it brought back memories of when I was a child. That was definitely good right there. I do like it. Uh, I actually prefer the jam and jalapeno, in my opinion, a whole heck of a lot better than I do on the, uh, what do you call it? In the Parmesan garlic. So I rate this a seven. If I remember correctly, correct me in the comments below if I'm all right. What's wrong? Because it's going to be edited. Uh, this one. The jam and jalapeno. It definitely surprised me. I was not expecting it to be as good as what it was or bring back as much childhood memories as I did. So I'm going to give that an 8.5. So, I had two sauces. If I had to go back to Buffalo Wild Wings today, I'm done here and had it, and they were the only two sauces available Parmesan garlic and jam and jalapeno. And I had to get one of those two or no wings. Boneless or bone in. I go with the jam and jalapeno in a heartbeat. I'd still get it on the side because I'd like to be able to have like this one. A little piece to hold, you know, go from there. So, overall, I give Buffalo Wild Wings. And 8 out of 10. They have great food. Chocolate chicken. Uh, to be honest, this is coming from a store that just reopened recently from the COVID issue. So, that being said, and then being crazy and very busy and swamp a lot of customers, I'm pretty sure that the rating I gave is not accurate. It's just accurate to the current moment. That being, I know restaurant stuff well enough. If they're busy... They don't always have time to make it the best possible. So what I'm getting at is, there's a good chance that my 8.5 rating for the jam and jalapeno, the 7 for the Parmesan garlic, and the 8 overall, when they're with the uh, wings, 
it's probably, in my opinion, not high enough. So maybe, just maybe, when they come back, well, we're fully back after this uh, whole to go back into the world thing is fully over with and we can all go back in, the rate may go up. But I realized I forgot to try the two sauces together on this one wing, so let's try them together and see if it's better than the Parmesan garlic seven. Better than the 8.5 jam and jalapeno in between or a totally different score altogether. They just work together. These are two flavors that go great. It's not worse than one, but it's also not better than two, but they work great. So together, I think I'm going to rate the combination of the jam and jalapeno and the Parmesan garlic. I give it an eight. It almost reminds me of a Szechuan slash sweet and sour with some extra garlic inside. There's nothing much else, to be honest with you. Together with the chicken, I don't taste much of the Parmesan. I don't taste any of the spice whatsoever. But like I said, I like spice, that's why the spice one's higher. But together, like I said before, I'll say it again, I'll buy them both together. So that's my review of the Buffalo Wild Wings boneless chicken and the Parmesan garlic and jam and jalapeno sauce. Oh, from here on out, I'm gonna try to do as many videos as I can. Where people coming back into this world, uh, unfortunately, I'm not getting as many calls to pick up a lot of food. So because I'm not out that often and I'm staying home more to also protect me and my family from what else could be out there. But I understand and respect that. We gotta think of the family first, don't we? Even though my family is just me and two dogs right now. I have heard that dogs can get it too and I don't want to get my dog sick. I have a 13-year-old miniature schnauzer. He's 13 years, two months. He's not doing well. I hear schnauzers live between, what is that, 12 and 15 years on average. So each day is a miracle that he's with me still. I have another dog. She's a jug. That's a half Jack Russell, half pug. And she was a rescue. I got her in 2015, September. That means she's at least five years old. I'm guessing about six on average. Being that we're in uh, May 2020. So where do we go from here? Well, I've got a few more videos that I will be filming. And I will get them up. Hopefully I can get enough at least to last me through the summertime of 2020. And depending on whether y'all keep watching, y'all subscribe, y'all like. Depends on what this channel goes through. The more y'all give us stuff on what to do, what foods y'all like to review, the exact product you like me to try, any food challenges you'd like me to try, is better this channel will get. So, that being said, I called it a mini mukbang earlier for a reason. I'm not a big mukbanger. I'm trying my best. And this bar right here is a bit too much for me to eat right now. So this will probably be my last wing right here. I will call it wrapped after that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, start picking up my food and everything.